Hey everybody, this is uh, Brian B here with Double B Marketing. And today, what we're gonna be going over is basically, um, see if I can find the right slide here, right? We're gonna be going over basically how to find supercars under 75K while not leaving the, the house, basically. And I'm gonna, reason I'm on the screen is because I wanna show you guys how to do it. Um, there's some sites you need to go to. So let's see if I can find it. Bam, right? So the first thing that you guys wanna do is uh, you can simply do this by going to uh, things like cars.com, uh, auto tr autotrader.com. Um, I'll show you how to do it with a Craigslist search. Um, and you can also do it at carsguru.com. So let's just say uh, the car we're going to try to look for is, let's say it's a Porsche Panamera, right? So we'll come to cars.com, right? And that's uh, C-A-R-S.com. Come here. It's going to be a used car. And so we'll be doing basically, let's say it's a Porsche, right? And then from a Porsche, uh, we want to do a Panamera. And let's say we're most likely, I, I usually start, um, all miles, right? You can start basically if you want to see what's in your area, but I do all miles because I'm searching all throughout the US, right? And then hit search. Then from there, right? Uh, I usually, um, you want to go maybe about uh, four to five years old, maybe even six, just depending on the car. I mean, understand the, the value, uh, the way it gets devalued. But in this case, let's just say 2014 to 2015, right? So I'm gonna come over here. Um, I usually do, let's say 40,000 miles or less. And I'm looking for that GTS we said. And then I'm basically, uh, then I'm going to do my search, right? I want to see how much they're uh, charging for it, right? And usually what I do before I, I, I do this, I usually have, uh, I know the wholesale value of the car I'm looking for, I'm trying to purchase. So that way, when I'm going to look at this, I, I'm, I'm looking to see which one is uh, within my miles and then which one is not too far away from um from the the number of the wholesale value right and then i'm also going to be looking at how long the dealers had it so let's just say for example the porsche costs uh wholesale is maybe 75 let's say sixty five thousand, right so this one right here right the seventy four thousand, i would know that it's just way too much Right. For me to ask the dealer, he'll come down maybe three or four grand. But for me to ask him to come down like sixty seven, that's like seven thousand uh, dollars or sixty seven. What is that? Uh, yeah, that's seven thousand dollars. He's probably not going to do that. So that might not be the one I'm looking for. So I'll scroll through here and I'm going to find that. Then once I find it right for this price, then I'm going to go and I'm going to add that to my spreadsheet. But another thing that I'll do is, right, I want to check, let's say, these car faxes. And so in here on the car fax, I can see if, they're, uh, if there's been any accidents. Um, if you go right here, you can see that there's still seven months left on the warranty, on the manufacturer warranty. And then I can see actually when the dealer got the car. So the dealer just got this car uh, right here. It says 320 and it came into the dealer's inventory. And so if that's the case, that means he, he really hasn't had the car that long because today is like March uh, 20th, right? Ba really, let's just say it's March 15th, right? So he's only had it for five days, right? 
the closer this is to 90 days of them having it, the better you'll be able to negotiate. So I might add it to the list of who I'm going to call, but I just know that it's a higher chance that he thinks he's going to get the most bang for his buck on this car. So that is, that is what I'll do. Now, let's say I, I find a vehicle, right? And I find one for 67,000 and it's a 2015, right? So what I'm going to do is then go back in here and see, are there other cars selling for near that price? And then if whatever that price is, I'm going to take that and I'm going to use that as leverage. So if if there's one that has, let's say, similar miles and is selling for less, right? I'm going to take it over to that other dealer and say, hey, there's another car right here that I can possibly get uh, for this price. It has less miles and it's less, right? So why aren't you meeting that price, right? So that's that's one site you can go to and do that. Another site you can go to is, um, basically, uh, autotrader.com. You come in here. We'll go to Porsche, right? Panamera, right? Hit search. Oh, let's just say 89141. And I do any miles over here a year. Let's say we were doing 2014 to 15 mileage under 45,000 and we're doing the GTS and then I do basically that same search or those same numbers that I was doing before um with the other uh with the other uh website also you can come over here, Craigslist and if you type in this syntax right here, excuse me, not Craigslist, come to Google, go to google.com. And then if you type in this right here, site colon craigslist.org. And then here you can put whatever car you're looking for. So it was a Porsche Panamera GTS, right? And I usually leave the year off right here just to do a search. And it's going to search every city of Craigslist if there's any listed for the car. So you can say this is a 2014 right here, Porsche Panamera. And then you click on it and you can see the listing, All right? This is what he's selling, All right? He's got that many miles. So that's that. And then the other one that you can do is uh, you can use Cars Guru and basically it's the same thing. Um, you're gonna pick your car, pick your model, and go through those cars again. I won't go through this because um, it's the same thing. It's pretty self-explanatory. So that's basically how you can uh, find the car that you're looking for and how to do your research, right? So once you find a, a couple of different listings, right, put them in a spreadsheet and then call up those dealers. And then it's time to uh, go into the negotiation process, right? To see what you can uh, get. You ask the questions like, does it have too many keys? Uh, can I do, how many keys does it have? Is there anything wrong with the paint? What's the price you're looking for? Is it in stock? Um, can you ship it? Stuff like that. And there's another video that you can find about how to do that. So uh, what you wanna do is click the link below somewhere on this page. Um, and it's going to take you to the other videos that have information on exactly on how to do the stuff that I'm talking about in the video. So thanks for your time and, uh, look forward to seeing you in the other videos.